stop scrolling let's do a couple of previous year questions a very important question they'll give you history of a patient who either had a serious medical illness it could be pneumonia it could be mi it could be burns or patient had a surgery surgical intervention and then they will say that the patient suddenly developed disturbance of consciousness they will say the patient appears confused agitated then they will give history suggestive of delusions such as the patient feels that the doctor is trying to harm him nurse is trying to harm him and they may even say that the patient is becoming violent and then they may give history of hallucinations they may say that the patient is saying that there are small animals around and then they ask you the diagnosis now when you look at the history of delusions and hallucinations you make the diagnosis of schizophrenia or acute psychosis which is wrong patient sudden medical uh, medical surgical uh, history sudden onset of disturbed consciousness with these symptoms diagnosis is delirium a very commonly and repeated repeatedly asked question second previous year question which neurotransmitter is involved in the development of delirium answer is acetylcholine please remember